All right, Ken, thank you. Well, military experts have said that the most dangerous weapon our troops face on the war front is improvised explosive devices. A lot of times they're called IEDs. Exactly. And they're buried under the roadways. There is a company here in South Carolina that's trying to make it a lot safer for our troops while tracking down the enemy. One of our local heroes says the type of work they do saves lives. Sunrise anchor Stuart Moore has the story. This was a massive uh, explosion it lifted the entire vehicle into the air, and um, you know I can m remember um, every moment. March 8th, a little after 2,200 hours or 10 p.m., South Carolina Representative James Smith, captain to the troops, has the front end of his Humvee blown off after running over an IED. The two wheels, about 300 feet, uh, both directions. Um, and uh, we didn't find all the pieces, of course, until the next morning, which my guys, once we checked that everybody was okay and we could secure ourselves and take care of ourselves, we stayed there until the next morning, so we made sure we took every piece of that uh, vehicle back with us. Smith credits the vehicle he was riding in for saving his life and the lives of his three men. This South Carolina representative saved by an armored vehicle. The connection between South Carolina and armor doesn't stop there. Armored vehicles that save the lives of American and NATO soldiers every day are produced in South Carolina. Welcome to Force Protection in Ladson, home to a production line that sends dozens of heavy-duty armored vehicles to the Middle East every month. We've got over 4,500 vehicles out in, in theater serving with the U.S. and other militaries. We uh, are currently doing upgrades and sustainment uh, work uh, that provides significant revenue to the company. And providing jobs for people in South Carolina. This treasure is built on war, but it's a job that's rewarding to its employees. We get cards, letters, emails from, from soldiers, Marines, and their families uh, on a regular basis. We share those when we get them with all the employees here. Oh, team understood that uh, our ability to survive that moment and to live that day and to come back and continue our work in that same village in that same region was directly related to the engineering work that's done here and uh, done by uh, force protection. And Hidden in the low country of South Carolina, shipping a sense of security thousands of miles away. In Ladson, Stuart Moore, WIS News 10.